truth and clarity in a world so loud searching for light guided by truth will make it right with faith as our shield we take this in this video dr damina shares some deep secrets on deliverance casting out of demons and a believer doesn't need deliverance or demons being casted out let's enjoy this video where we learn spiritual truth god bless you out get out of this class is it not true <laughs> out of this class you think i came here to play no matter how you're enjoying the lecture you're quiet the highest is you'll be nodding your head and be writing notes why because lecture is going on that's how the church should be. Church should be a quiet place because it's an institution of learning. And not just learning, learning things of eternity. Why? So that in a short while, nobody can move you around anyhow anymore because you now know the truth. Look at Luke chapter 9 verse 42. And as he was yet a coming, the devil threw him down and tear him. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and healed the child and delivered him again to his father. Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and healed the child. And did what? Delivered him to what? So the rebuking of the unclean spirit was not the deliverance. Because after he rebuked the unclean spirit, he healed the child. Then he did what? He delivered the child to the father. Deliverance is not an activity. Deliverance is a movement from to. And there is a difference between casting out devils and deliverance. Is it getting clear? Matthew chapter 10 verse 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Cast out devils. And in casting out devils, don't collect registration fee. So those people that go to churches where you pay fees for deliverance, you are robbed. Where you pay fees for consultation, for counseling, you are robbed. Jesus said, when you cast out devils, freely you have received, freely give. Anybody who say he will not do counseling for you till you pay, tell him to eat his counseling. I'm not joking. I'm very serious about it. You can't know better than Jesus. Freely you have received, freely give. Now, if you observe there, Jesus talked about casting out devils. Look at another scripture, Matthew 8, 16. When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his words and healed all that were sick. He cast out what? He didn't say he delivered the spirits. He cast them out. Then he healed. I'm taking down to show you where casting out devils is in operation. It is not called deliverance. And deliverance is not casting out devils. They are two different things. Cast out demons. Obviously, this was to stop the operation of an evil spirit. To cast out means to stop the operation. That's what it means. That evil spirit doesn't have to be in the person for you to cast out the demon. A demon can be cast out of someone and the person is not delivered. You can cast out a demon from somebody and the person is not delivered. Because casting out demons is not deliverance. But somebody cannot be delivered and you cast out demons from him. You can cast out a demon from somebody, but the somebody is not delivered. But when somebody is delivered, you don't cast demons. That he is delivered means there are no demons inside him. Observe this scenario here. Acts 16, 18 to 19. Please pay attention. This brother Paul. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. He came out the same hour. And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers. Now, for you to understand this story, give me verse 16 of the same Acts 16. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a Did spirit of divination. Did you see the word divination. possessed? Possessed with a spirit of divination met us. And what was the reason for the divination? Which brought her master as much gain by soothsaying. So, so Paul stopped the oppression of the demon in that girl. But yes, the girl was still in that city. Notice, the girl did not become born again. Even though the demons were cast out of her, she didn't become delivered. You can cast out demons and the person is not delivered. But if a person is delivered, there are no demons to cast out. Luke 
But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. Next. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out devils through Beelzebub, and if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. Next. But if I with the finger of God cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. Next. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusteth, and divideth his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, when you cast out demons, and the spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places. The spirit you cast out will go through dry places because no more accommodation, because human bodies are accommodation for demons. Seeking rest and finding none. So since he can't find rest, he said, the demon says to himself, I will return unto my house when I came out. That demon is very wicked. He called a human being his house. I will return unto my house when I came out. Next verse. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. When he cometh, he findeth the person clean, but nobody occupies him. That means the person is not delivered. Demons are cast out, but the person is not delivered because deliverance is a movement from one kingdom to another, where you are now occupied. But this guy has been delivered and Christ has not entered him. So he's not delivered. So the demon now says, I will go back to my house where I left. Then goeth he and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. Yes. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. The last state of that man is worse than the first. Why? Because you cast out demons from a man that was not ready to be born again. And nobody showed him Christ. Or they showed him Christ, but he didn't want. So the spirit will come back and say, let me see. So Christ is not inside. Uh -uh. Seven demons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of you come. So eight of them now will come back and enter and take over that man. And the state of that man is worse than before. So it's better not to cast out demons if the person will not be born again. Because the guarantee that those demons will never come back is deliverance. What is deliverance? Receiving Christ into your heart. Deliverance is Christ entering a man. Because deliverance takes you out of the kingdom of darkness and translates you into the kingdom of his dear son. Is it clear? So there's a difference between casting out demons and deliverance. They are not the same. The believer in Jesus is delivered. Who also hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. And what is in the kingdom of his dear son? In whom we have redemption through his blood. What is redemption through his blood? The forgiveness of sins. How? According to the riches of his grace. So the moment I receive Christ and my sins are forgiven forgiving i am delivered and once i am delivered i can never be possessed once i am delivered i can never be possessed why because deliverance puts on you the seal of the holy ghost until the day of jesus and such a person nothing shall by any means even if you eat food from shrine it won't do you anything even if they bring food from shrine and you like it Take it and eat it. There's no need for economic waste. Eat it and give thanks. And on top of the food, speak in tongues. Pull the chicken. Devil doesn't own anything. The earth is the Lord. And the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Oh, I feel like I'm teaching good in this house. So casting out demon is from people without Christ. Deliverance is for people that have received Christ. When you receive Christ, what is that? deliverance. From who do we cast out demons? Do we cast out demons from believers? From who? Unbelievers. When we cast out demons from unbelievers, do they automatically become born again? Okay. So when do they become born again? When they are. So if an unbeliever has demons, which every unbeliever has, and you preach the gospel, and the person believed the gospel, is the person delivered? What happened to the demons that were there? When the gospel enters, it flushes out all the demons without noise. A new kingdom takes over the person. Glory to God. Truth 
Wow, thanks for watching Truth and Clarity today with me. On Truth and Clarity, we'll tell the truth and nothing but the truth. If this video added value to you, do it to give it a thumbs up, like the video, share to your friends and family, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification button so when I do post a video, you'll be the first to see it. I'd like to see you in the comment section. I'll see ya. With hearts on fire, we'll never stray. Working in purpose, come what may. Truth and clarity, with Ejero, we see. A path of love and destiny. Through every story, every word we say. Shining the light, showing the way. Lift your voice, let 